guys, it's Knockvix, and um, today what I have for you is this thing called Happy Fridays. Happy Fridays is basically where I will show you three, three up to three design retro designs that are pretty awesome, pretty cool that I've collected from the week. So um, here's the first one. It's kind of a late re video response to Mambo Jumbo. Small, it's it's a small staircase to heaven by me, Zebra Zero Zero, and um. Basically, Mumbo Jumbo posted a video on a secret suitcase from the wall. And I tried to implement that because uh, to improve it a little, and um, that's all I kind of did. So, let's go out. And up. Nice fresh base to go into, whatever. And um, what I didn't like about his design was that he had repeaters right here. Oops. Oops. But anyway, it was that he had repeaters like that, and um, I didn't really like that because you know, if you wanted to go out somewhere, you wouldn't see repeaters right there. They look kind of stupid um, and stuff. But anyway, once you're done, you can go out and close your eye out. Unfortunately, that animation looks horrible. Ew. Oh, ew, ew. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get on to the next design. So this is the design. Is like, well, if you can't guess it, uh, I'll let you guys guess it. So, I'm trying to reach this chest. Ugh, I have no idea how to. There's no stairs, there's no pistons, there's no nothing. Fortunately, there's this lever here. So, let's flick it. And, out pulls a secret staircase. And we can go into our chest, get our droppers and hoppers, and go back out, and, um, close it right up. So this is a hidden staircase design from the ground. Like so. This is kind of a late, very late video response to Mumbo Jumbo. This is also the smallest I know of. So, um, see it? This is all the wiring, it looks very tiny. So it is 13 long by 6 tall by 7 long, which is a pro- which should be about 630 blocks. So, um, I know the smallest, uh, before this design, the smallest out there was by Super Swaggers. Um, you should check out his channel, he does great stuff. Um, his design is also faster, and the animation for the opening and closing is a lot nicer. So, if you wanted to see that, uh, the clean version, go check out his. But mine is the more compact version. So, um, I will be doing uh, doing a tutorial for that design. I forgot to mention this one. Um, I uh, I will decide on it. Um, if you guys make comment or like, then I will definitely do it. Um, but until then, but um, I'll make I'll make one anyway. Uh, deciding if I wanted to or want to. Um, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go on to the last design. So, this is a 3x3 cave door. This is also the world's smallest 3x3 cave door. It's about as small as it gets, so let's leave it. Closes really fast. It's also really fast. So, it's pretty fast for what it does. Okay. Um, but, uh, so let's look at the wiring. It's very compact. It is... Uh, let's see... 7 long by, it's 7 long by 3 wide by, one second, one second, by 9 tall. So, um, that's pretty compact. Let's see one more time. So, so for its size, it's pretty fast and stuff. It's about as compact as it can be. It's the size of a piston layout. There's no blocks extra here. Um, well, you could cut off. You know, I don't know. You you could probably could sh cut off a layer from here, but that would be extremely hard to do. Um, because of the way it's set up, this uh this is um you have to have this piston right here. Um, it's about as short as it gets. As you can see, the top piston. There's nothing above the top piston. Uh, same thing on either side. 
And um, for uh, this is the ending of Happy Friday, unfortunately. But I will, because of how small it is, I will do a tutorial right now. So um, I'm gonna get three escape. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the piston layout. You want three sticky pistons like so. So I'm gonna just uh, so uh, you are gonna be digging down two blocks, I believe. Yeah, two blocks. And once again, I foiled my plans wrong. I mean, I did this wrong. So, put your your input's gonna be right here. It can be a redstone dot input. Just saying. So it doesn't have to be a repeater. Put two sticky pistons like so. Grab a redstone block and put one on either side. So. Yeah, you'll be digging two down from the uh, if you uh, if you're building this, then you'll be digging. Then uh, let's just make your frame, pretty big frame, unfortunately. Uh, also, uh, as you can probably see, there is a sign that's going around saying "Play Claw." Um, and that is because I am using a recorder called Play Claw. I unfortunately got the demo version because I am cheap and like that. Uh, but anyway, anyway, um, yeah. So that's your piston I have for the top. Then you want to put sticky piston right here, like so. Put that one. Do the same thing on the other side. So um, let me uh, let me know if you guys like this recorder. Uh, even though there's like the thing flashing around, um, it's compared to my other recorder, it's like audio and uh, frames per second and stuff is a lot more smoother. So um, if you don't like it, let me know. But anyway, this was your piston setup. So this is going to be, so I'm going to do this in colors. The line wall is going to be the circuit that leads up to the top and does most of the side pistons. So, okay, so, run it. Arg. Alright, arg. Okay, put it side piston like so. Get a cauldron out and get a water bucket out and do it like so. And then from there, I'm gonna place from this. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Um, you actually want to put it up here. Sorry about that. Then is a comparator get out a computer <laughs> saying so and so so I don't like accidentally destroy my so I'm gonna move my redstone bucket uh, my water bucket put a computer right there torch lock redstone redstone and it and um get a slab out like so Redstone right here, redstone, redstone, repeater here, vortex repeater here. We'll walk on here with the redstone. This side, same dealio. Put a sticky piston right there. Once again, let me get out the cauldron. Promises the last time I will be using a cauldron. And water. Okay, well, I, 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 I had a cauldron in my thing. I will put a uh, comparator right here. Torch, lock, lock. So, also use another input. Put a redstone dot right here. And next up, oh yeah, I'm gonna put locks like so. The repeater. Warning, this does not work in all orientations. I will show you because this can get powered sometimes. Well, well, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, 
Well, it does. It should work in all orientations. Let me put a redstone right here. Torch. Let me get a dropper and a hopper out. Put a drop dropper here, hopper here, comparator right here, and finally put in any item you want inside that drop. And that should be entire door done. So let's see closed. Also, let me get out some glowstone. What? That was strange. Glowstone glitched out. So, too close. Closed. So, um, yeah. But any fo anyway, folks, that's all. This has been the Knock by X. And, and, but anyway, I, uh, that's all. And I, and I am out.